hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl az new williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you are new to the channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so my crush whiz kid or big whiz yes has finally you know decided to show us his grammy award i mean where 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 are all those people that used to say oh isn't they those they would just give him a certificate blah 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 they're not gonna give him any award in your faces he actually got his award yes i mean give whiskey his flowers he deserves it even though initially he didn't really want to show it it was his friend you know that put it out and his uh, manager stroke baby mama was really pissed but i mean we all know this kid he's, there's no way he was gonna show it but we thank god for that his friend that decided to put it out and we now can fully beat our chest and say our whiskey has got a grammy award now away from whiskey let's go over to big brother niger just um i saw this um tweet from bright o and I don't even know what to say. Like I was with Austin Better when I saw this um this tweet, I was legit pissed. Like legit pissed. Now, um, uh, before you guys will be like, "Hey, is it blah blah blah?" Mm -mm, I ain't gonna hear it. I'm just gonna say the way I feel. See, he put out this tweet and said she gave me a blowjob, and the next morning I had a swollen deck i guess japa that's childish i mean last night a lot of people were actually bashing dora and were actually commending like not like commending but like calling him a king blah 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 he did this right now every excuses i had you know to um back brighto up has gone seriously i have no excuse this is low i mean why am i feeling the way i'm feeling i'm gonna tell you reunion was when they did the filming of the reunion around april may or april if i'm not mistaken and you had the opportunity to say what you wanted to say back at the filming you now waited now that it's june that they've started airing it and you now had to pull this move that's childish you know a lot of people don't understand they think that this reu reunion is life it's not life this thing has happened like a month ago and coming here and being a sissy that's a sissy move seriously and i'm gonna say it i don't care seriously i am going to say it because that's how i feel about this this is rubbish this is really really rubbish for people that were saying oh but dora said a lot of things to him did dora say it today whatever dora said there i know i am not even going to say okay because it's dora anybody that said anything in that reunion for the housemates it happened like a month ago we the viewers fine we are just seeing it but they, they already know so why come now that's my issue with this and bright oh mm -mm. every little less respect i had for him is gone really is gone before i used to like have you know um excuses for him about the whole thing i used to say oh he was in charge mm -mm, nah this is sissy move and that's it for him even though um some um celebrities came for him some other people came for him some people were still congratulating him and all that but for me i feel this is a sissy move and whoever gave him the advice to do that is not helping him at all yes overnight the respect he got from people has just you know gone down now away from bright oh let's go over to the app of a race yes i said up of a race because it's not just about neo this time it's also about venita and another um of neo's sister so apparently this new sister is came for um venita because she feels venita has been a stumbling block between neo and v now i'm asking myself i thought that this has you know gone off i thought we were all over this you know but apparently we are not now this lady her name is obatare apofare who is actually new sister put this out and said venita a word is enough for the wise but i know you are far from wise don't text me again keep making a fool of yourself till i meet face to face um 
anywhere anytime i will beat you on behalf of millions of people i dare you to talk rubbish venita you are only a cousin and there is no upgrade to that let's neo abofore and vea your opinion okay your opinion is still not needed now let me send the send all the rubbish you sent me so people know how dull you are it's a pity we share surnames she also went ahead to say come to my whatsapp this blessed morning to fool yourself you want to see crazy next time i will post your house address and cell phone number for those that need to speak sense to you then she shared this whatsapp screenshot of you know what venita sent to her and um Venita also said, ha ha ha, like the laughing emoji, and said, next year, just join audition Desperado. Okay, now what do I make of this? Um, the moment you start bringing your family issues, it's not as if there's like something um illegal that happens something abnormal, or maybe it's something that's abominable that happened in your house that you have to like cry out, and you bring your family out in the open, that's rubbish. This is a show of shame. And I don't know why, but I just feel like this is a um, new sister chasing clout. I don't know, but that's how I feel. Venita, I will not support Venita in butting into um, Neo and V's relationship. But is it even in the sister's place to come out to say this? I mean, who is Venita to you people? Your cousin. Is it in your place? I think Neil is the one that ought to shun the sister. Was it not how many weeks ago that, or last week or so, that Neil was hanging out with Venita in Delta State? So I'm asking myself, is in a why did this come up? I think this whole thing is just um, because of. You remember when Talani Badge and V went at each other? Esther, you know, said something in support of V, and then um, Venita says something to Esther that she should not forget what she too did. So a lot of people were like, um, Venita will never, never support anybody that is supporting V. So maybe, I'm just saying, I'm not sure, but I think that maybe this is where everything is coming out from. Whichever one, people that are applauding her now will still be the ones to drag her tomorrow. This kind of things, especially bringing your family in the open, knowing the history, because... Ah, those that know, know. Those that know, know that Venita also helped in, you know, Neo being in the Big Brother Ninja house. So coming out to say this, I feel is tasteless. Settle your family matters within yourself. It's not something that is a civil matter. It's not something that we ought to know. Neo and V are adults. They should live their life. They don't need Venita to police them. They don't even need Neo's sister to come and be their mouthpiece let them be anyways guys so tonight mm, we're still on the triangle i told you guys this is big brother niger triangle yes this time around it's about kate wire it's about what tony it's about nengi at some point and there's some kaisha and all that in this one um what tony actually called kate wire a community boy i mean did this girl pour my language <laughs> I remember I used to call somebody community husband. Now this one is calling Kid Y a community boy. Now is Kid Y actually a community boy? Or is you know what Tony just describing herself but in another gender? Tonight we are gonna be finding out. And also tonight, inside life with Erica. So trust your girl. I'm gonna be giving you guys updates on all of that. Thank you guys so much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl. Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful day ahead. Bye, guys.